Hey, what's up, guys? This is the new Mech Warrior 5 Clans. Um, I love Mech Warrior games. I played the first four back in the day. Uh, I didn't play a whole lot of Mech Warriors Mercenary. It is okay. Uh, wasn't for me. Uh, I much prefer games like Armor Core 6. But man, the first three or four Mech Warriors were, were awesome. Um, and this one's trying to aim at having like an integrated story and character development we'll see i'm gonna be quiet now you can watch the uh the cut scene and then i'll start talking once the gameplay starts and i'll i'll tell you how i feel we about it i've already done a few missions so far the clans. we are hunters who fight with the ferocity of our namesake to stand unequaled amongst the children of korinsky We remember the bravery of our ancestors who gave themselves to the void and of the despots responsible for their exodus. Through our strength, we lead the Crusaders to see the Great Father's dream realized. His hidden hope to one day return and reclaim paradise. It is our sole purpose our divine right. We will bring vengeance down upon the tyrants that enslave humanity. And they shall tremble before our might. Uh, at least there were no actual smoke jaguars hunting you in those jungles. No, I'm with Mia. I'd rather get torn apart by large cats than have to climb those damn gray mountain cliffs again. Grabby is lighter on this planet. Although you might want to watch your language, Liam. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Eyes up. Kick commander incoming. I am Kit Commander Ibrahim Ismail. This is Stalker Base, your new home for the final stretch of your Sibco training. Your cadre of the Elijah Hoyt and Abigail Ismail Sibco line has suffered numerous fatalities and washouts throughout your time on Lunderholm. Kits Ezra, Jaden, Liam, Mia, Nasir. You five are the final vestiges of your brood that some deem might one day be of value to the clan. I am not one of them. To me, you five are the excrement of a failed semi aborted batch from my bloodhouse. Far from the pinnacle of humanity demanded by the clan's geneticist that spawned you! I am a gracious host. So I will give you the opportunity to show me what those Stravix on Lunderholm taught you. Show me what you know of being a real true born mech warrior. And prove yourselves worthy of the name and heritage you carry with you. A suit up. Prepare for mech combat. But, sir, we just arrived. Did I ask you a question, kid? Uh. 
Real mech warriors should be combat ready the second they hit Atmo. You surats able to be prepped and ready in the next 15 mics? Quee up! I'm King Commander. You better get on it then. Dismissed. Okay, Commander. We will not fail. Very brave. Very stupid. Jaden, you coming? I will catch up. Currently behind the controls of mankind's premier weapon of war, a clan Omnimech. Although this is a training exercise, you are still controlling four stories of ferrous steel and my immersed muscle strapped to a fusion engine. More than enough power to kill and be killed. You will respect that fact while you live under my command. If you do not, I will kill you myself and spare the laborer cast your incompetence. Now, Reactor follow the mark online. now. Sensors online. Weapons. All right, so this is the tutorial part of the game. I'm going to walk Soccer you through green for departure. Stand clear. Getting through the hangar, changing the view. Obviously, this is cockpit view, which is pretty neat, but can get a little hectic in combat. So we go third person most of the time. There's a certain element to playing this game in third person that guess can add like a simulation factor, but all I think it does is hamper my ability to see. Must have been a myoma prosthetic. A lesson to learn from. Yeah, no kidding. So I will say just off the bat, you guys can make up your own opinions about this game, whether you like it or not. I don't know how many people are returning as mech warrior fans of old or if they're playing it for the first time but uh, there's something about this game that doesn't hit right it looks all right you know I, I kind of expected a little bit more there goes my phone let's put that off I expected a little more I don't know I feel like it just looks like mercenaries I don't even know if it even looks as good as Mercenaries. I'll have to go back and play it, but it doesn't look like, you know, phenomenally better. I don't remember in, in Mech Warrior 3 the control of your mech being a lot more fluid, like being able to rotate a lot more in the mech. They seem to, like, limit that ability here. And it's just uh, something you can add as like an ability like the rotation of your mech uh, that might have been something i'm just not remembering in, in prior games but Seems like every other kit master we have feel like i could have like full willing to take like frustrations on us. 90s left and right not full circles obviously but to be you know some of these are like 45 degree angles you can't like yeah, turn all the way right from the start. and it doesn't feel like Mr. like a tank Des like it should you know also, there's no Atlas. Why is there no Atlas Mech Warrior? That, I mean, that the big hundred ton mech can't can't not have that. Come on now. Obviously, they've got uh, a Mad Cat. I think they call it a Timber Wolf here or something like that. But uh, yeah, you gotta have the Mad Cat. If you don't have a Mad Cat in these games, then I don't know what you're talking about. Beyond this point. You will be entering the Proving Grounds. Under Jaden's command, you will make your way through two challenge zones and then a final combat arena. Your primary objective is to clear each zone of hostiles 
and recover any high-priority assets that may be located in each OZ. This is a weapons-hot area that will test your capabilities in a number of combat encounters. Here you will find not only drone hover tanks, turrets, and VTOLs, but also functional battle mechs. Your weapons are now hot. Familiarize yourself with your systems before moving on to the marked objectives. Do not shoot your friendlies. They will take damage as they would in real combat. They should not be made to suffer from your stupid Star Commander Jaden, you may begin the evaluation now. Yeah, so I feel like they tried too hard to make you care about the characters in your, uh, your little wing here. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't care. They're kind of generic looking, generic sounding. Like they got kind of like one guy who's a, a little bit of a rebel smart ass, but it's just it's not enough. Just not enough personality in the characters from what I've seen so far to make me care about them trying to develop a story with these guys. And maybe it happens later in the game. I don't know. But I've gotten like three, four missions in, maybe five, and I'm over it at this point. It's just like every single mission was that I played was identical. It's like, don't get attacked, and then there's no other option but to get attacked, because if you're not taking like 100% control of your teammates, then they'll just go off on their own, get spotted, and then you're screwed. So you have to make them stay planted by commanding them, which is fine, but I'm not trying to play a, an RTS. I wish the AI, you know, would at least attempt to follow the commands given in the storyline of the mission. But they don't. They're not. They're not bright. So the enemy will detect them and fire on them, even though you're where you should be to not get shot at, and they're behind you. But they're just not smart enough to like track around the terrain to get out of sight. So you have to force them into those positions. And that's that's tiresome. I want to be able to like point them to certain things. I'm not I don't want to play an RTS. I don't want to do it. I want the AI to be semi intelligent to at least follow some sort of, you know, intelligent pathing. So it makes sense for the story. Like they're just not gonna go out on their own to like purposely sabotage you. It's not really the vibe of the game. Like you're not getting betrayed by by your teammates here. Scanned salvage. Movement! Watch those bunkers! Scan mode. Disengage. Your activity in this zone has drawn unwanted attention. Secure the area against all threats that look to take what is yours. Scan mode engaged. Enemy terminated. And there's a... a lot of mechs. Like... second, third mission in. There's just so many mechs. And these things are supposed to be like super expensive, like you know, the baddest thing on on the you know battlefield. And I feel like they're basically like infantry, because there are so many of them around. And they're like bullet sponges, because they're I'm in a stronger mech than some of these things, and you know, I remember in Mech Warrior 3, you could like target things like legs, blow the legs off, Never and disable them. That like uh, doesn't really factor in here. You can like shoot their arms off and stuff, but then they just run into you and hit you. Um, and I feel like it takes an immense amount of concentrated fire to take just a single one out. Like I mean, I'm talking about like direct fire. And then your your teammates, they they seem to like get destroyed almost 
instantaneously in fights. So you're kind of forced to keep them back and not engage in the fight. Even, and even if you try to like concentrate all your fire on one enemy mech at a time, it still takes forever to kill one. Now proceed to the next sector for your second encounter. But yeah, it's it's I, all the missions I played. The the loop is the same. Auto repair bays can sometimes be found in the field. Use them to make spot field repairs and replenish ammo if it is needed. But do not become reliant on them. They are not always available and can leave the rest of your star vulnerable if you make use of them at an inappropriate time. Another thing about Mech Warriors 2 is I, I think I played the, uh, the the battle tech games too, the sort of like top down ones. Um where you're like royalty or whatever, like your inner sphere or whatever. This is inner sphere versus clans. That's how all the games are. Mercenary is a little different, but not super into the lore. If you guys are, I mean, great. But like, I never. Mech Warrior Three had the coolest like cutscenes as a kid. I thought they were just awesome. Like, I thought like a movie like that would be great. But I didn't care about like the guys character development. I just wanted to see robots get destroyed and you know like you know very short dialogue you know it's sort of I guess generic uh, like oh my god we're gonna fight and then you know, there's the intercom interaction it's just sort of very military and professional and this one's like you know back and forth talking about food and all this other stuff like things like you know young marines on deployment would talk about three months into their first deployment man i wish i had some mcdonald's <laughs> that, that kind of dialogue and i'm like i don't know i want to be a seasoned warrior you know that's been through battle and we're just getting it done instead of this sort of like young group of people that are wet behind the ears maybe a little cockier than they should be to the final combat arena and a series of auto repair bays. See yourself patched up. When you are ready, scan the gate and enter the arena. Easy prey so far. Yeah, we'll take them all on if that's the best they've got. Kid Liam! I will not have you sully my training ground with those free birth slurs. While here, you will speak properly without the use of lazy contractions. Kit Commander, Liam is brash, but he is among the best within our SIPCO. That does not inspire confidence. Good. I'm used to being underestimated. Kit. You carry the name of your progenitor and one of the clan's founding fathers. It is a great honor that I will not see you denigrate with language unbecoming of your station. <sighs> then I call you to a trial of refusal. Only warriors have the right to refuse. And you are no warrior. Not yet. Until you earn that station, you will carry yourself with dignity. Or you will find yourself assigned to an elemental Simco as their permanent sparring partner. Now see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, it's just uninspiring dialogue. I don't, he, I don't even know what he said. He used a contraction. Did he say wheel? And, and that was the 
outrageous thing he said. I don't know <laughs> what kind of uh, free birth slur that was. But, you know, I mean, come on. Could, could we have at least said something that would have made sense to, to be a slur? It's just too safe. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's not good. I tried really hard to, to like this. And uh, I'm sorry if this disappoints you guys. I just want you to hear my real opinions. So this is the top-down thing. This is how you're going to, like, control your guys, like, in the space. But what's more annoying is this, is you have a very limited view. You can't really zoom out a ton. Like, it, it kind of, like, goes out this way and that's it you can zoom in and that's about as far out as you can go and then you can't really like move around the space a lot with the camera which it's very limiting if you're trying to actually like create space and i i don't know how i don't think you can set waypoints either so like you just pick a point where you want to send them and they choose their own path so if you want to like send them around a corner to like actually ambush the enemy or, you know, sneak around a ledge or something so they don't get detected. You can't do that. There's no, there's no waypoints. That can, maybe I'm missing it. Maybe you guys can point it out and say, like, actually, no, you're stupid. You gotta, like, hit this button and do it. Then fine. Educate me, and I'll reinstall the game, and I'll try it again. But as it stands, it needs work. Like, a lot of work as far as that's concerned. Like, I don't want to play an RTS. But if they're going to make it a part of the game, then make it more functional instead of just click and point, click and point. And, oh, and then when you want to like target an enemy from that top-down view, Lead the way. you'll click a skull appears, right? You got to right-click on the enemy in the skull when the skull appears, but it doesn't stay locked on very well. So you can go, the you'll be on the skull, and then as soon as the enemy moves, like... Any distance, it'll go to just the ground, and now you're sending your guy to guard a waypoint instead of actually attacking the enemy, so they'll walk past it. Meanwhile, you're getting shot at because you're at this top view, and you can't do anything, so you can't, like, command them in that space unless you're further away and not being attacked. And you can do it while you're on the ground by like selecting a particular person and selecting them on the ground but it's very hard to distinguish the enemies from yourself sometimes because they're all intermingled with each other and like you gotta have like some like outrageous camo scheme to distinguish yourself from from these guys because there's not like the best identifiers all the time like they'll be red but sometimes they're not unless you're like pointing right at them and then your guys will walk in front of them and then now you're, you're shooting them That's it. yeah but those are all the commands you've got it's, you know follow me go here attack this and then I don't understand it when you're in scan mode so you're like looking for stuff to pick up then you can't shoot so you're basically you know vulnerable to attack while you're in scan mode so I guess that's that's like what they want the game to do so you kind of like got to be strategic about how you choose when to scan and where and what's going on in the battlefield which is fine but i'm a mech warrior i can hit more than one button at a time i don't know why scanning disables my ability to shoot a weapon like like in realistic space and then there's not any like the rockets or the missiles, there's no lock on. Jump jet fuel low. Down to target. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Just messing around in the tutorial. There's no real consequences here. Enemy down. Yeah, this is the other thing. I remember in uh, 
the earlier mech warriors shooting those little tanks and stuff they're not a threat you, you they just blow up with one shot of anything they're just meant to be annoyances look guys new sipkin from out of system good the competition around here has been a little stale lately hopefully these ones do not break as easily as the last batch Yeah, I, I kind of miss Looks being like, like from a lone Zipkin. mech warrior against a handful of that other mech warriors because no it, it felt more good chunk of impactful to, to like run into if we spread out, one, two, or three mechs at a time. And like the mechs that you're facing are just stronger than you versus just in. there being a bunch just of them. Tell us where you want us. You see how much damage that thing is taking? His legs should be done. Yeah, and their legs don't break off. That was something cool that was in... They just get damaged and they fall over. You can, like, lose arms, but I haven't seen anyone lose legs. I remember just targeting legs because they tended to be like they're harder to hit but as long as you do hit them there's less armor on the legs and you just take them out and they fall over you use less ammo and they disable them and if you know you want to be vindictive about it or sadistic that's the word sadistic about it just go over there and keep shooting them but legs are a good way to take them out and then basically scavenge them all for parts this one you gotta like Scan for parts. Might even make a warrior out of some of you. But for now, return to Stalker Base and get yourself situated. Aft, Kit Commander. Heading back now. Damn. That was something. Aft. Time to get back and settle in. No telling what will come next. Uninspired. Didn't need all that. Didn't need the dialogue at all. That's all, kids. Last drill we'll ever have to run in this hellhole. I thought they would let us rest before tomorrow's trials. I hacked old One-Eye's message feed. He's still sore we've been outperforming his prized pupils. So this is his last attempt at trying to get us to wash out? That, or soften us up for tomorrow's opponents to kill us for good. I still find it hard to believe that you got away with hacking the base's mail server. I'm not stupid. I just watch and observe. Not act on anything I find. They don't even know I've compromised the system. If you are not careful, that little hobby of yours will get you killed someday. Come on, S. You used to be a better hacker than me. Yeah, but when I was caught, I actually got punished for it. Command likely knows and is just letting you slide because you hold the founder's name. Not funny. <laughs> you know I hate that. And you know we all share his bloodline too, right? Oh. They don't treat any of you like you should be the second coming of Sakan Liam Ismero. Come on. This might be the last time we get to tease you about this. We will likely be ransomed to different galaxies when we make Warrior. You never know. We might get lucky and serve in the same cluster. Hopefully we get lucky then. Anyways, let us get cleaned up and grab some chow. One last meal for the road. At least the food will be better when we are Warriors. And for that reason alone, it will be worth it. What is that? Just finishing it up.
Grey Ridge Mountains. Miss Link's training facility. From Launderholm? Yeah. I have not seen this logo since we left. What is with these five stars? Us. The last five surviving members of our original Sipco. Five. Of nearly a hundred. Is everything okay? Kit Commander Ismail refused my request to transfer to the science cast. Tomorrow, I will either become a warrior or wash out. Nasir. Your performance is just as good as any of us. You will do fine. I only keep up because we work together as a team. I do not think I can do this on my own. Tomorrow will be just like any other day. One that we have trained our entire lives for. Doubt is the only thing standing in your way. Do not let it win. Spend some time in the Simpods tonight if you have to. I think I will. And when you finish, do mine up too. Just like yours. Really? Mm-hmm. That way, a part of you will be right there with me for my trial. Well, thanks, Jaden. That means a lot. Good hunting tomorrow. You too. We will all be waiting for you on the other side. Time has come. Kit Jaden. Ahead of you lies your trial of position. Your final test is a Sipco trainee that will show your true worth to the Smoke Jaguar clan. Three opponents await you. To be recognized as a warrior of the clans, you must best at least one kill or be killed. Success will secure your position as a warrior of the clans, based on the number of mechs you destroy. Failure will forever see you expelled from the warrior caste, where you will instead find station as a common laborer. Do you understand the task that lays before you? Athkit Commander, I am prepared. Every cadet says that. Only you control your future, Jaden. And the real question is... What do you want from it? To rise above all. To take a blood name and lead my own cluster. In the name of Smoke Jaguar. Lofty goal indeed. One that many seek. If leadership is what you truly desire, then you must best at least two opponents to earn the rank of Star Commander. Two kills. Star Commander. It will be mine. We are Smoke Jaguar. True born warriors selectively bred for war over generations. Our destiny to one day return from exile and reclaim terror will not be handed to us. It will fall to those sharp enough to earn their place among our clan's warriors. May Karinsky look over your glorious rise, Kid Jaden. Good hunting.
Time for my trial to position. Proceed along the designated nav route to the proving grounds. Your trial of position awaits. Acknowledged, Kit Commander. This is it. Everything you've worked for. Two kills. Two kills. Better to die than accept anything less. You can do this, Jaden. You have to. Kit Jaden. You have been called to a trial of position. If you are victorious, the Smoke Jaguar will embrace the latest mech warrior worthy of the clan's tumen. If you fail, then the death of the incompetent is the death of a feeble progeny. And a testament to our glorious ways. May the Founders, Franklin Osis, and your progenitor, Liam Ismeril, grant you strength. Begin! Alright, so we gotta kill two. Be cool if we could kill all three, right? Let's see how that goes. This first guy's probably just a chump anyway, right? He's got lasers. He missed a lot. Oh, there we go. There's a hit. Cross lasers. Hitting those legs. This is it. That is one confirmed kill. Right in the torso. Saw a good spot to set up. Need to get there quick. Here it comes. One more kill. Seems to be a ground pounder. I should leverage my jump jets and this dense terrain. My mech is better at hit and fade engagements. Yeah, I don't know why they bother saying that. I don't know this is just add in to try and get you to try other things in the game because it's absolutely not unnecessary to use your jump jet. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely unnecessary to use your jump jets or the dense terrain. It's actually a hindrance <laughs> to, to you because he's just waiting for you to come out of cover. Meanwhile, you're behind cover and can't hit him like that. And I don't know why he says using jump jets matter. Unless you're just trying to get away because he can torso up and just shoot you. Or aim with his arms. Yeah, see? Hitting me just fine. In a newer game, I kind of expected the, the hits to be more impactful for there to be like more visible damage on the enemy, like seeing their like arms blow off. Like they do come off, but like they don't like fly anywhere or whatever. They just sort of lay on the ground or disintegrate. I don't know. This is a sticking point for me. I want to see the legs blow up and for them to slowly fall over. 
your heat. Shutting down the death sentence. Target. Yeah. Star Commander. That is now two confirmed kills. I can definitely take the third guy, right? Who's confident? These guys are pushovers. We totally could. <laughs> nope. Coolest mech in the whole game. Always has been, always will be. The mechs that are... Yeah. Look at that. Done, son. Today, the clan recognizes the ascension of its newest mech warrior into the Tumen. With two confirmed combat kills, no! I give to you Jaden Smoke Jaguar. And demand you recognize him as a star commander. It's such a, a weird way to end that trial of just getting absolutely handled by the third guy and to celebrate defeating the other two like you know like who was that guy he just kicked my ass yeah, that's kind of how the whole vibe for the game goes you guys make your own opinions like I said before play the game check it out it's on game pass um, it's on you know, obviously the Microsoft's on PC, you can get it on Steam. Where is Nasir? Particle cannon to the cockpit. No time to eject. No. Who's as good as any of us? Nothing you could do, Jaden. Sounds really Charles broken up about it. To face alone. Kill or be killed. I was worried I might not see any of you again. What are you all doing here? All of you, please, follow me. Half Star Colonel. See, that's what I'm saying. Are we supposed to care about the guy that died? I feel like they wanted us to. Doesn't seem like the rest of the Sibco cared either. Galaxy Commander, Cordera Perez. Oh, he looks serious. Come join me. Star Commander. I invited you and your fellow Sibkin here because I was told by Kick Commander Ismeril that you four are exceptionally attuned to one another in the field. Is that an accurate assessment? Half Galaxy Commander, it is. Jaden Smoke Jaguar, in accordance with our ways, I, Galaxy Commander Cordera Perez, formally extend to you a ransom. In exchange for your enlistment under the banner of my Beta Galaxy, I offer to you a star of battle mechs for you to command as you see fit. And this is to be formed by your fellow Sibkin. All of you. Will you serve under my command? Bargained well and done, Galaxy Commander. Excellent, excellent. Your new star will be assigned to the 362nd Assault Cluster. Under Star Colonel, Emily Wimmer. Welcome to the 362nd, the Silver Jaguars. And congratulations to you on a successful trial, Star Commander. Thank you, Star Colonel. I look forward to working with you and Galaxy Commander Perez for many years to come. Hmm. Likewise. I have a warrior, Naomi, that is in need of a new assignment. She will be your star's fifth point. I look forward to meeting her. <laughs> What perfect timing. Some fool of a clan has entered Huntress space looking for a fight. Hmm. Who do you think it is, Galaxy Commander? 
The Novacats. We won a series of trials against them recently. And Khan LaRue is looking for retribution. Star Colonel Dieter, what clan dares challenge us in our home system? None, Galaxy Commander. Explain. A jump ship has materialized at Huntress's Nadir Point, but it is not clan in origin. How is that possible? critical importance to the clans. Last month, an unidentified jump ship materialized at a pirate point above our capital on Huntress. After capturing the vessel and interrogating its crew, we have learned that this ship, this outbound light, Originated from the inner sphere. Impossible. I assure you it is not. Capture of this vessel and the intel I am now forwarding to all of you points to one indisputable fact. Great houses of the inner sphere know the secret location of our home world. Now, it is only a matter of time before they bring their greed and their never-ending wars to our doorsteps. The great debate over our return to the Inner Sphere ends now. We must act! My cause. It is finally time for the children of Kerinsky to return home! me in. Yes, my con. All hands, we have completed our jump. Stand by for an announcement from Sakan Sarah Weaver. Centuries ago, our ancestors hurled themselves into the void, hoping to flee a war they knew would come. A war that would end up subjugating all of human space under the boots of the great houses of the Inner Sphere. Our ancestors' sacrifices became the foundation on which Kerensky's clans were formed. But their dream of one day returning home did not die with them. It lives in all of you, born from blood and steel to bring their hopes, their dreams 
and their legacy back to the inner sphere. Today, our long journey through the Exodus Road has come to an end. Now, we begin the first stage of Operation Revival by laying claim to the outer periphery. We will tame this savage outback to use as our staging ground to bring vengeance down on the tyrants to rule over the inner sphere. And they shall tremble before our might. Well, that's it, guys. I'm convinced. Let's go to war. I don't know. If you want to see more of this, let me know. Maybe I'll reinstall it. But that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or evening. Peace.